Hey there, my gorgeous friends on the internet. Today we are celebrating 100k subs. Well, <laughs> hopefully, I'm not sure because I'm filming this one day beforehand. So hopefully by tomorrow when I'm posting this episode, we're going to have 100k subs. Uh, so I want to thank you very much. And since it's a special celebration day, let's take a look at some of my early websites so you guys can make fun of me and I can make fun of myself as well. So hey, who knows, maybe a couple more hours and we can reach a million subs on this channel. Oh. You can see all the other devs on YouTube shaking right now, looking at my channel and shaking. Not because how fast we're growing, but because how terrible the content is on this channel. Okay, so the first few websites I made, I actually don't have them saved anymore, unfortunately, because I was petrified of how terrible they looked. So I. I just made them and delete. Trash can recycle bin in three seconds. So that's what I did. So I don't really have anything to show you there, but the first one I did, I was so proud of it that I posted it on Reddit. It got like 10 upvotes. Success. That's what I, that's. So as you can see here, after two months of learning web dev, I finally managed to put up my first website. So here's my link. And let's take a look, open this up. <laughs> so what happened is I posted the website, but I didn't renew my domain. So the Chinese came in with their like nunchucks and things and they stole it and they put up their, their poppy text website. It looks nice. I like it. All right, but I do have the second one. So I, I saved that one. So let's take a look at that one. So as you can see, very simple. I learned how to do some animations, the text popping up on the screen, bubbling, and we have an arrow here. So we are doing like a nice smooth scroll animation. <laughs> now there are a lot of bad things going on here. I, I managed to do my first like real JavaScript kind of uh, little effect here. I just took some SVGs and as you can see, there's stars falling down. And what I did was I just added like an infinite loop of animating these things one by one. But what I did was I was actually generating these SVGs. So if you leave the site open for too long, there are going to be like a million bajillion stars in the sky, which is actually kind of realistic if you think about it. Uh, but it's not really performant to the website, even though like SVGs, whatever, they're like 0 0.5 bits per Nintendo second. Um, anyway, so Okay, so the contrast was pretty poor here. Like this is just the whole section here. And I just posted my skills down here. I don't really have like a separation, like a white background probably would have been nice on this just to kind of uh, show this a bit better. <laughs> we have this, I did this in Adobe Illustrator. So I just created this SVG here with the laptop and this guy just sitting right here. <laughs> Wait a minute, I know this guy, I can find him. So I just searched guy sitting on Google. And if we go to images, where are you? Where are you? It's the Chinese guy that stole my website, and my domain. I swear to God, this is how, they, oh, there we go. This is the guy, take a look. <laughs> See, perfect, I just flipped it. Who even stays in that position, I'm curious. How was he? Something like this? All right, other than that, I just had these super simple projects going on here. I kind of remade this one and made the project on my channel. I also had this one, which I made the weather app that you guys might know of and just a super simple contact form. Uh, and I don't think, I, I think this one works, but I'm not sure, let's try. All right, so we have auto uh, validation. Let's just try. All right. Ugh and just leave a message, hit submit. And I think this uses form spree. Yeah, there we go. So this used forms. Oh yeah, I still recommend this today. If you have a static website and you want to add a contact form to it, just stick a form, lick it first and just stick a form spree on there and you should be fine. Don't waste time with backend. Who even likes backend these days? Okay, so after a while I did another one which team was just a video producer website. So showcasing images and videos of other photographers and videographers. Um, and let's take a look here. 
And this time around, I kind of learned CSS Grid, how to do these things. Let me give this a refresh. So as you can see, we have this nav bar also kind of moving and animating. Um, and we discovered how to also, like when we scroll down to have these images popping up, uh, just some pseudo elements with like these things popping up when we hover over, we have a slight animation. Uh, and these are, now everything is responsive here, which is very nice. Uh, so this is kind of what we covered. So this worked perfectly. Um, the bad part, if we go down here, I mean, these icons are a bit too small. <laughs> uh, text is kind of close here, but just this big empty space kind of looks bad. Um, and down here we <laughs> have a contact form, which I don't know how I messed this up. Uh, but I didn't stretch this out. Ooh, it's actually stretchable. Wow, did I add this? Not even sure. So there we go. Never mind. Take a look. That's actually pretty cool. So we can stretch it out like this, write the whole paragraph, and you can become a member. And oh no, I actually submitted a form. For the third one, I actually remade my portfolio with React and Gatsby. Now, do you really need React and Gatsby to make a portfolio website? Not really. Don't let other people tell you. You know, deep down, Deep down, right there, in the heart. You know that you don't need it. You can do it with static HTML and CSS and JavaScript, and you will be better off. So let's take a look. When we refresh this page, we get this guy running here. This is me without a beard. Uh, and this was made with After Effects and Looty. I think that's what it's called from Airbnb, uh, which enables you to create After Effects animations and just kind of drag it over to to the browser, which is really cool. So you can do like running animations and like more complex things. Um, but yeah, that's what we have. Uh, then we just have some simple uh, YouTube here, GitHub, LinkedIn. So very basic. And then I did a nav bar on the side. So now actually this kind of changes dynamically. So we don't have a refresh just the components load. So that's, I guess, a nice benefit that you can add uh, that you don't need to refresh. Everything is dynamic. And we have me pop in there on, on the screen. And there's also me sitting here just enjoying and thinking about the mistakes I did in my life. So after this one, my portfolio, I kind of just messed around and built small projects out. And I, I was actually moving a bit away from web development and started experimenting with like just programming languages like Python, C Sharp, and just messing around with like 3D modeling and just kind of videography. I really like taking pictures and filming video. And these are kind of the other passions I have that I kind of want to expand a bit on my channel because I'm, <laughs> I don't know, people say, hey, I, you're a JavaScript developer. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm terrible at most of the things that I do, but I'm not a, I lost my train of thought. But I still did a few projects here and there, and like a lot of them are on YouTube these days. But before that, I had one that I really liked that I did with React, uh, and it's kind of this beat maker. Uh, let me get my headphones so we can test this out. Okay, so what we had here was you can kind of just click and touch here and make your own sound. So we can make a beat like this. Let me get the headphones again. So as you can see, You can just kind of tap and then you can add a, a clap maybe if you want. All right, let's make this not terrible. All right, that's... <laughs> there we go. All right, we got a beat going now and we can also change the sounds if we want. All right, let's, let's do this one. We can add claps to it as well. And there we go, we got the beat going. You thought that was it? No, that's not it. We can also add sounds to it. <laughs> now we can also change the sound of the the piano if we click on drums obviously uh, let's, let's let's try that yeah and lastly we can also slow this down to get like a hip-hop beat yeah 
Deadly when I play a dope melody Anything less than the best is a felony Love it or leave it, you better gain weight You better hit bulls at the kid don't play If there was a problem, yo, I solve it Check out the hook while Devet revolves it So thank you very much again for being here with me I really appreciate it This half a year so far was just a crazy ride And I cannot believe we made it to 100k uh, So let's move on, let's get better, let's improve and yeah and i'm very sorry if in the near future we're gonna expand a bit maybe into game development or 3d if that's not your thing i, I really want to apologize because if i just keep doing like javascript or web development that's that's just not me anymore i'm sorry um so hopefully you'll still stick around and we're, we're gonna have some fun here and hey hopefully i can teach you some new cool things that you can apply uh, to your life so until next time, bada beam, bada boom. Love y'all.